Blah. Hi. Friends, Romans, countrymen, Facebook friends and family, bloggers and vloggers and the like. Matthew back again here on Friday the 27th of May with my weekend uh, blog. Um, made another week go by on this spinning rock we call Earth and not without some drama, not without some personal uh, triumph, and not without a little light weeping. I think it's been a good week. And it's been a complete entertainment and media sensory overload. So let's talk about that, shall we? Monday, Lady Gaga's new album came out. Gaga. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. You say Gaga, some people are all, it gag me. And other people are like, little monsters. And other people are like, can't you just leave her alone? I, <laughs> she's a very, um, yeah, she's Gaga. Come on, come on, lover or hater. Um, her new album came out Monday, and it was, it's fantastic. It's, it's brilliant. It's, uh, I would call it an anthem album, um, Born This Way. Uh, every song just makes you feel good, makes you want to dance, makes you feel like you can be anybody who you want to be whenever you want to be. And that's basically her message, whether she's, you know, wearing a rocket bra or, you know, wearing Oscar Mayer products for shoes, uh, her message is be yourself because this is who you are, rock it for all it's worth, I don't care if you have a horn growing out of your ass, throw some glitter on it and go dancing. And what better message is there than that, especially right now, so who really cares what vessel it comes from as long as it comes from a place of honesty and positivity and truth and has a really good dance beat behind it. So check it out, listen to it. On the other end of the spectrum of music, um, Adele, Adele, who's on the current issue of Out Magazine, um, she has an album out called 21, and the first single from that was Rolling in the Deep, which is amazing. Got this heavy, bluesy, bass, thump, soul voice brilliance to it, so uh, check her out. If you haven't heard her, you're insane. Um, Chasing Pavements, I think, was her first, first album. I think that's what it was called, but that was the first single. I don't know. I'm talking out of my ass at this point. I just know what music I like, and those are two things you should definitely check out. Um, nice segue, though, from Adele, Rolling in the Deep, her new single. They performed on Glee this season, which I just saw the season finale, and how perfect was that? It was... Okay, I know a lot of people were bitching and complaining that this season, it, it didn't adhere to the same vibe as the first season, and they were kind of going off track and going all over the map, and but I thought this season was great. It was really well-rounded. Everybody's character arc went up and down and in between, and the characters are growing up. Um, Kurt came back to McKinley. Hello! I... Oh, ha, yeah, thank God, because I missed him really bad being around the rest of the Glee kids. They went to New York for the finale, which that's all I'm going to say because... I know it's been out for a few days, but I don't like to give spoilers and do that kind of thing. Because some people spoiled it for me. But I digress. Anyway, Glee. Yeah, if you haven't seen Glee, you've been living under a rock or um, you just have no soul. I'll leave it to you to check out which one of those it applies to you. Anyway, so, moving on. Um, uh, entertainment-wise, oh yeah, I was introduced to a movie called The Human Centipede. I sat for two hours in a chair shifting back and forth on my butt, covering my mouth, looking away 
<laughs> why? 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 Why was it produced? Who wrote it? Um, I need to write them a letter. Um, and why has it become this like cult phenomenon across the world? Ga, ga. Um, to explain it would only be to cause me further stress and undo nightmares, and I just can't take it. Just believe me when I say no. 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 That's a bad human centipede. Bad, bad, bad human centipede. <laughs> okay, moving on. I thought I would pull out a gem from my DVD collection and start telling you guys certain things you should see, at least in my opinion you should see if you haven't, and my first one is going to be a 1996 gem starring the lovely Reese Witherspoon and Keeper Sutherland, hello. Uh, it's called Freeway. If you haven't seen it, Netflix it, rent it, come over to my house, I'll make popcorn, I'll make kettle corn. I'll make you a hot dog and get you a Diet Coke. Just watch it. It's good. It's fantastic. It's a little vulgar, but hey, what is it? Um, anyway, so yeah, that's been my week. That's uh, the week in review, as it were. Um, just thought I would give a little shout out to a couple of my new friends on YouTube and Facebook, which would be Sam, who's... Uh, YouTube channel is Kinda Gay Blog. He is funny and actually very insightful, and uh, he's a cool guy. So check out his blog, his vlogs, and what have you. And also a new friend, Paul, who is the gay comic geek, who has uh, a website and a YouTube channel, and he's on Facebook as well. And he's hysterical. It's good to find another uh, gay comic book uh, geek, which he is much more hardcore than I am, but check him out. He's really awesome. Hey guys, uh, good to see you again. Anyway, um, so it's Friday, so I hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, let me know what you're doing this weekend. Type me some messages and stuff. Tell me what's going on or what I should talk about or if I should just shut up. But you know, even if you told me to shut up, I wouldn't, so. Anyway, that's my blog. I've gone on way too long. Uh, have a great weekend, everybody, and see you all next week. And in the meantime, do something. Something. Listen to some music. Let me know about some good music. I need some new, more good music. And uh, by all means, do not say Human Centipede, because... Well, because. Do me a favor. All right. Peace.